Imagine this is the last thing you see before you're sliced in half by Grigna. How does that make you feel? Well, dead, probably. Hello, welcome to the Adventures of Grigna. Uh, I forgot to mention it, and you can blame Grigna for having uh, one intelligence. But the last, like, this episode, the last episode, have been uh, pre-recorded because I've been very busy this weekend. Uh, the, the episode you're watching now, this current episode of Grigna, is the last pre-recorded episode of Grigna there will be. So I apologize for not being able to answer your fan mail to Grigna and your lovely comments about Grigna and probably your criticisms of Grigna. Nobody criticizes Grigna. You're going to criticize this? You're done for. Anyway, uh, yeah, today I want to take Grigna on a special adventure. So we have arrived at uh, Ranger Outpost Charlie, which was a nice break for Grigna. Did we not sleep? What's the point? Did we not heal when we sleep? I'm pretty sure you heal when you sleep. Let's try sleeping again. Maybe it just didn't save properly. Uh, let's have another nap. Grigna is currently racked by, there you go, racked by alcoholism. Uh, a lack of healing supplies and, quite frankly, being bested in combat at every turn because we're using a great sword in the land of laser weapons. So there's not really much of a surprise that Grigan is getting his ass handed to him a little bit here and there. But I think Grigan is doing okay, all things considered. Kind of looking forward to when we level up again so we can actually pick some more perks because the perks are going to be uh, the thing that make this the most playable of all. Now, over the horizon, we can see our goal, our target of uh, Novak. We went through Nipton to Novak, of course, on our quest to find the man who shot Grigna so we could enact our revenge. And this has, all this journey, all of these, these breadcrumbs have led us to here. Maybe we will finally find the man who shot Grigna, or maybe there'll be more breadcrumbs left to follow. I mean, I know the truth. <laughs> but anyway, I want to go on a special journey today because, of course, for a long time now, uh, Grigna has been tempted by, uh, some more barbarian armor over by Good Springs in the tribal village. Of course, overrun by Cazadors. Now, if Grigna's having trouble with, uh, some basic enemies... Hey. Hello. If Grigna's having trouble with basic enemies, how do you think Grigna's gonna fare against Cazador? Well, I mean, we all know the answer because we've tried it before. Um, what is this place? Hello. What do you need? to say hello, Dent. Bye. All right. And, uh, Anna? What do you want? Hello. Uh, do you know anything about the Shadow Company? Do you know anything about Marco? You're a mercenary. Do you know anything about the Legion or War or Novak or anything else? Bye. Bye. I get the feeling this is modded content because I don't recognize this. Uh, but maybe I'm losing my mind. Wow, what a, what a painting, huh? He's got a radio on. Uh, what? door is far away. Yeah, I get the feeling that's modded content. Because <laughs> I really don't recognize that at all. Bounties. Oh, it must be to do with the bounty mod. Interesting. Anyway, before Grigna can head over to the Cazador lair, Grigna needs a mighty companion. A fellow, a sidekick to join him in his journey. Someone to distract the Cazador while Grigna bravely rushes in while they're being stung to death to grab the barbarian gear. If we get a barbarian companion, that would be just as good. Let's have a look around. Here we are, Novak. Why is it called Novak? Well, it's very obvious. It's uh, no vacancy, as you can see there. V-A-C-A-N-C-Y. Uh, but the ANSI has dropped off. So now it's not. Now it's just Novak. And that's it. That's the story of Novak. Oh, it's him again. It's Victor. Howdy, partner. It is I, Grigna. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. Grigna will butter nobody's butt before dinner. What are you doing in Novak? Don't rightly know. I just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. Hmm. Quite a coincidence you meeting Grigna in a place like this. Not that Grigna knows what coincidence means. Seeing how this is the only road around... I'd be a sight more surprised if we didn't run into That is an understandable <laughs> point. Grigna is humiliated. <laughs> you said that the men that shot Grigna were headed this way. No, don't believe I did. But you might ask around. That's true, he didn't. The Novak folk usually see Grigna has one intelligence, just to remind you, he's an idiot. The man is an idiot. Stay out of my way, robot. Oh, do we like the robot? Do we hate the robot? The robot did save Grigna's life. Likewise, friend, likewise. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? Uh... uh my friend, I could use another gun at my side. That's a mighty fine offer, but I'm going to need to conserve my strength if I'm going to make it all the way Damn. to Damn, I was Vegas. hoping we could bait him into the casino. I'm sure you do just fine without old Vic slowing you down. Bloody old Vic. Uh, goodbye. 
Be seeing you. I'm not going to be rude to the robot. He's been nothing but friendly to us so far. All over here. I mean, obviously, I can see what it is. It's a fucking petrol station. Or what do you call it in America? A gas hotel. Or probably something like that. Probably something to that effect. Am I right? It's called a petrol station because it's a station you get petrol from. It's not gas. It's a liquid. I mean, I know that gases can be, can be, can be, can be pumped. You know, you can, you can, you can put gas into a tank. But I'm just saying it's a liquid, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not even sure I know what I'm saying anymore. Here we are in the town of Novak, Novak proper, the big old dinosaur. What do you think of that? Is Dinky, the big old Dinky the dinosaur? This is Cliff Briscoe's bungalow, and this is Ranger Andy's bungalow. And this one is boarded up. I don't know why you were bought up a building in the post-apocalypse. Because you imagine they're... They are, like, fairly sought after, right? Well, we're here to ask around and find out if anybody knows. We haven't got, like, a quest mark. We haven't got an objective. Either. It's just ask around Novak. Okay, Grigner. Let's go in the first building we've seen. The Dino D-Light front disc. Madam, I am Grigner the Barbarian. I seek information. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this late. fine town <laughs> take care of you. Uh, greetings, madam. I'm looking for a man in a checkered coat. Well, he might have been wearing a fancy outfit, but he wasn't any kind of gentleman to me. Me neither. Had his nose stuck so high in the air you couldn't see it above the clouds. He is a great beast City then. Folk. 60 they foot tall. They deserve better than what they got. Explains Those how he managed to defeat Grigna. Seem to know Manny for some reason. He's our daytime sniper up in the dinosaur's mouth. Manny. Manny is in a dinosaur's mouth. Watch out for strangers. That's a good advice. Thank you, uh, Genie May. Manny, the dinosaur eaten. Grigna would like to speak to you. Find out from Manny Vargas where the Khans were heading. Greetings, Cliff Briscoe. I mean, I don't know your name yet. How you doing? Hello, I'm Grigna. Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. Grigna is a slayer of lizards, not a collector of lizards. What do you sell? Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. Hmm. Uh, supplies, guns, do you sell those? Guns? I, uh, well... We don't want guns, of yeah, course. Yeah, I guess I might have a few. We want a big, bashy weapon. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. I slay lizards. I do not collect lizards, Cliff Briscoe. Sure thing. Have a look. Thank you. Right, let's see what he's got then. Uh, melee weapons? Oh, motherfucking chainsaw! It'll skin your ass raw, from what I understand. Oh, shit. Now, with that, we can also carve open doors. To make up for Grigna being a fucking idiot, we can cut the doors down. Who needs to pick a lot? Oh my god, he's also got a sledgehammer. That's way more on brand for Grigna. How much is a chainsaw, Cliff? 1,200 caps. Bloody hell. 1,200 dollary dues. Uh, let's go ahead and sell him everything. Friendship ended with... Uh, um, well, actually, I don't think we've made any friends. I was trying to think of anybody. Friends you've with Dot Mitchell. Uh, Cliff Briscoe is my new best friend. Well, Do Dot Mitchell never gave us a friggin'. Ooh, that gun was worth a fortune. Uh, Doc Mitchell never gave us a friggin' chainsaw. Oh my god, Apocalypse Gladiator armor. Oh, my brother. Apocalypse Gladiator helmet. Lucky battle armor. Well, that's expensive. My god, where'd you get all this shit, my man? The devil's pigtails. <laughs> Don't talk to him. He's got the devil's pigtails. Give me them stim packs. Uh, Lance life. Let's, let's, let's. I'll buy the doctor's bag for sure. Cliff Briscoe, my friend. Do you have anything I can reinforce this chainsaw with? I'm a chainsaw man now. Boxing glove lightweight filling. Ooh. Chainsaw ally frame. Give me that. We can buy a chainsaw and we can upgrade it. Katana protective sheath. What the fuck? Knuckle Duster Panic Lawn Mower Blade? Um, you got anything else for the chainsaw, my man? Ripper HD Chain. That's for the Ripper. Ripper is a small handheld chainsaw, so far more valuable. Holy crap. Um, well. Cliff Briscoe, you've made a friend for life. My god. 
Chainsaw ignores damage threshold and damage resistance. We could be fighting the smallest of Gecko or the most armored of man. This 60 foot man who took him down with his head in the clouds is going to stand no chance. Uh, let's sell him some long fuse dynamite. I don't want that. Uh, I don't want this much dynamite. Because it's, it's kind of a liability, to be honest with you. <laughs> Authority glasses, ball cap. I did almost re misread that as ball sack with glasses. There you go. An amicable trade. You were an honorable man, Cliff Briscoe. I was about to call him Cliff Richard then. I do not need your weapon mods. But I'll buy a bundle is for the baseball bat. I don't think it's going to be as good as a fucking chainsaw, though, is it? I think that's just uh, sensible. Cigarettes we don't need. Oh, he can't afford it. Well, you know what? I'm feeling generous. Just take it. Come back soon now. I will. Friendship ended with Grigna's greatsword. Chainsaw is my new best friend. It's weaker than the greatsword. No, it's not DPS 72, DPS 73. It's actually better. Chainsaw cannot be modified. What did I just buy then? What do you mean chainsaw cannot be modified? What the fuck is a chainsaw alloy frame? You liar. There must be a different chainsaw. Look, there's a different type of chainsaw. One that can be modified. But I mean... <laughs> Let's see those Cazadors stop me now, Cliff Briscoe. Oh, Cliff Briscoe, my friend. You have made a true ally. Fishing batteries. Man, those are worth fortune. What's behind that door, do you think? I mean, I know what's behind that door. I'm asking what you think is behind that door. What's the holes in the ceiling? How strange. Manny Vargas. What's going on, man? It is I, Grigna. I'm looking for a man, 60 foot tall, head in the clouds. Sure I know him. What do you want with him? Ah, uh, he shot me in the head. I have a... He has something of mine. You talking about that chip? Man, I don't think he's giving it up. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Hmm. What do you need, Manny Vargas? Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people would have What about have anything the small trade. collectible we lizards? Leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site. But a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. Hmm. What needs to be done? Well, they gotta go. Or this will be a ghost town. Bring their calves up ghouls. Doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. Excellent. Murder. It'd mean a lot to me. Goodbye, Manny Vargas. Yeah, see ya. Manny Vargas won't tell us. Manny Vargas will not tell us what we need to know before we kill some ghouls. So that means only one thing to Grigna. Head to the Repcon facility and deal with the ghouls. It's all very simple. We missed a lot of quests, but of course we'll come back and we'll um. Why did none of the faces match the bodies? It's very concerning. I mean, Grigna is not one to talk. He has a horrible neck seam. A trader! Hey there. Need anything? I would like to sell you some things, trader. Grigna bought a dud chainsaw. Cliff Briscoe, that coward. I thought we were going to be friends, and then he sold me a shitty chainsaw that I can't actually modify, the big bitch. Uh, you got anything for a chainsaw? Nothing. Have you got a better chainsaw? <laughs> Asking for a friend? We need to get rid of some of this garbage. We've got so much shit that, I mean... Good God. I mean, there's no wonder we're weighed down. Look at it all. Ah, oh, don't worry about it for the time being. Also occurred to me, Grigna is uh, shockingly, shockingly uh, sober. Oh, he didn't even want to buy those, you bitch. Uh, here, take these. Take this cup. There's dog hide. Don't need that. Uh, duct tape. I can make a lot of things with that. Sledgehammer machete. That sounds pretty good. Okay, we'll keep that. Take this fork and these gecko eggs. Uh, you can take this lawnmower blade. I like crafting things. I cannot be asked to craft this much shit. It's kind of ludicrous, right? Uh, whetstone. They're very heavy. Take them. Wonder glue. Very heavy. Take it. Take the. Take that too. I mean, the wonder glue weighs one. It's just we have three of them. You would like to buy some bullets. You are a sensible man. Did we buy some stim packs from this guy? I bought some expired ones, didn't I? Take this and leave me. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Good deal. Right. We've got to go carve up some ghouls. Uh, where, where are we going to carve up these ghouls then? Sorry. Quests. Uh, yep. Yeah, fine. Come fly with me. Head to the Repcon facility west of Novak to investigate the rumors of ghoul activity there. Ghouls are the zombies. 
that we have met. Uh, and now look, I don't want to get too mired down in different quests. What if we've met Manny Vargas, the daytime sniper? What if there is a nighttime sniper who might be able to help us? Somebody who might know. We could ask around a little bit more, of course. We don't have to do Manny's quest. We could find those men other ways. Let's go see who this nighttime sniper is. I have a good feeling about him. Cliff Briscoe, Maybe you're the most... you came back. Must be doing something right. <laughs> ah, here he is. Booney. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? Boone, where are your glasses? You look weird without it. Uh, expecting visitors? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? I'm here for you, Boone. Mm. Uh, I want to check out the view. I think you better leave. Aw, oh, shit. Uh, make a friendly conversation. I don't have friends here. <laughs> oh, I love you, Boone. You're so terrible. I'm not from here. No. No, you're not, are you? Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Boone with his glue on beard. Why is that? Oh, you want something from Gregna, Boone? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. His, his voice doesn't match his face at all, does he? He's got the voice of, like, a, an edgy anime protagonist. His voice says Sasuke Ochiha, but his face says Phil Mitchell. But what do you want me to do? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. I need someone My to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come and what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. You're trying to track down your wife? My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Oh, what do I do if I find this person, Boone? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal, so I know you're standing with him. Mm -hmm. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. Okay. Let's see what I can do to help you out, Boone. Good. Oh, he's I'll so bold. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. Oh, he's so bold. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or well, the Legion will be after me next. Okay. Goodbye, Boone. Yeah. Boone and Grigna, friends till the end. He's got a bit of a Chelsea smile going on, hasn't he? Weird. Or a Glasgow smile, I think it's called as well. Well then, another mystery is afoot. Now, we've only met two people in town. We met Manny Vargas, we met Cliff Briscoe. Oh, I suppose we met Jeannie May, didn't we? Now, on Grigna a second, of course I know who did it, because I've played this game How you doing? many a times. As a reminder, I have all the achievements. Cliff. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? So I do not just want to go to the person who I know did it and, you know, Framer. Grigna has to figure it out. We're not here for me. We're here for Grigna. Grigna would like to know. Cliff Briscoe, we are friends even though you conned Grigna with a dodgy chainsaw. Tell Grigna about Boone's wife. Can't say we spoke much. Boone did most of the buying for him. She was in the store once, but she didn't stay long. Had a look on her face like she'd smelled something sour. As far as I can remember, the gift shop smelled fine. Well, fine as it always does. Hmm. Interesting. Sounds like she might not have liked the town. Come back soon now. Or at least didn't like Cliff Briscoe. <laughs> okay. Well, we know Manny Vargas, so I guess we'll go and have a chat with Manny Vargas then. Where does he live? Manny Vargas' house? Oh, oh, bloody convenient. Manny! You have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Brother, your face is glowing. Are you the ghoul? Uh, come with me. There's something you should see in front of the dinosaur. We could do that, and we could get Manny shot. Just head over to... Uh, -huh. uh, he doesn't tell us anything about Boone's wife, which is very strange. Great terminal. Ooh. Message. Can't hospitality. Manny, you made the right choice. Putting us up, keeping it quiet. As we saw, Benny's been twitchy since we stole the package from his boss. Making me nervous as hell. But when I find out we were passing through on our way to Boulder City, I was sure we could count on you. Let the other cons say what they want. I know where your loyalty is. One day you'll remember where you belong. Your brothers and sisters will welcome you back like you never left. You know where to find us. McMurphy. Oh. Manny Vargas used to be a great con. That's a gang that we haven't really met yet. But we've heard rumors of them. So Manny Vargas used to be a con. That outdated our uh, journal too, right? Uh... We can intercept the Great Khans at Boulder City. So we know now where to go. We can still help out Manny Vargas. Well, I think I fucking will. 
Manny? You have any luck with the ghouls? Can we tell him anything now? No. We can take him out in front of the dinosaur and put a beret on. Uh, motel room. That one's apparently locked, so we won't go in there. Boone's room. His broom. Uh, motel room. This one's unlocked. Hello? There's somebody in here. R sit on the ruined couch. What makes that ruined? Look a little bit moldy. Daisy Whitman. Howdy. Howdy. I'm Daisy Whitman. Fine weather for flying. It's times like these that make me miss it all. Hooey! Do you know Boone's wife? Did you sell Boone's wife to slavery, Daisy? Watch your six out there. She doesn't say nothing about Boone's wife. That's very annoying. Um, Daisy, have you got a drinking problem? Oh, speaking of which. <laughs> I forgot that for a second. He's been shockingly sober throughout this episode. Empty. Oh, it's, it's, it's okay. She's only drinking the, the Thathby. Oh. Well, hold on. Oh, shit. Daisy. You better mind your fucking business, Daisy. Motel room. Hello. Our guys put the monorail back to work. Monorail. It's Bruce Isaac. Oh, please don't kill me. I swear I'll have... Wait. You you don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? No. Uh, Greg now has no idea what you're talking about, Bruce Isaac. Sorry, it's just... You look like his type, you know? You got that hard-ass wasteland explorer thing. Why is everybody on? commenting on Grigna's ass? Are you that singer, singer from New Reno? I think I saw you play the clubs there. Oh, so you have heard of me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. Grigna doesn't remember much, but apparently he remembers a singer that he saw. Why'd you come all the way out here from New Reno? You don't know Mr. Bishop. He's not like other bosses up there. He knows the wasteland like the back of his hand, and he likes to wander it. I knew if I didn't get way the hell away from New Reno, he'd run me down like a dog. Mm hmm. Why would Mr. Bishop be after you? Is it not relevant? Tell me about Boone's wife. Oh, well, that's all just a big misunderstanding, see? Mr. Bishop? Well, he owed me a lot of money, and, uh, you know, he's a busy guy, so I sort of figured I'd just take it off his hands. <laughs> Robbed a casino, boss? Robbed is such an ugly word. It's more like I took care of a payroll problem for him. Also, I might have uh, sort of plowed his daughter. A little. Ah, uh, Grigno is pleased with this development. Thanks. But if Bishop finds me and I don't have his money, my balls are going to be on his trophy wall. Ah. Uh, I'll let you know if I find any work for a singer. You do that? Mm-hmm. Great. I really appreciate that. You're welcome, Bruce. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, yeah. See you later. Oh, I presume he doesn't know anything about Boone's wife, given that's the whole friggin' reason we're here. For God's sake. All right. You got any, got any booze? Conductor? Ruined couch? You got any booze in this cupboard? Nothing. Rubbish. All right, moving on. Motel room. I'm on a shithole. Who's on oxygen? Who, who is out? Well, I don't think stealing drugs should be... Ooh. Illegal. Hello? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I vomited. No, don't drink about. Oh, Greg, no. No. <laughs> we drank from the poopy vomit toilet. I just wanted to steal his drugs. Or her drugs. I have no idea whose house this is. Oh, Greg, no. You drank from the stinky vomit toilet. You fool. Oh, Greg, no, is sorry. He was just so thirsty. That requires a key. Okay. Well, I just don't understand why you board them up. Are they really, like going to collapse or something? They can't be that bad. Who's in this one then? Boop. Uh. Hello? Oh! Radioactive mushroom. Someone needs to shower more. Stinky. That's fine. Oh, I didn't really want the empty. The empty syringe. Whose bed is this? Vodka! <laughs> is it Gregna's bed? Gregna can't remember. Ruined couch. Pre-war book. Vodka. Okay, well, no indication to whose house that is. Gonna have a look over here. Ranger Andy's bungalow. Hello there, are you Ranger Andy? We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Do you know anything about Boone's wife? Carla was a knockout. Whenever Boone walked around with her, he always had this funny grin on his face like he couldn't believe his luck. 
I know we couldn't. That wasn't the only reason she stuck out, though. That girl never minced words. If she'd had better food or hospitality, she'd let you hear it. Trouble was, she usually had. Uh. I don't think she meant it. She really was a sweet girl. I think she just wanted to remind herself that there's still nicer places in this world than Novak. Who could blame her for that? Interesting. Okay. So we know a little bit more about her. She wasn't particularly liked, probably because she was quite, you know, loudmouthed. Do something to your leg, Ranger Andy? Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. His buttons have a little guns on them. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. Oh, Andy. Don't say that. A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there, and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn Cazador. around, and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us, and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. Oh, what happened? I go to grab him out of there, and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet, and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Those shit. Anyway, shits. that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel. Just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. Oh. Hey, just because you're idle and you'll never walk again. No, I forgot where I was going with that. I'm sure it was very inspiring. <laughs> See you later. Look out for yourself. Grigna means well, but he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, poor Ranger Andy. Tried to save a kid and then it blew him up. Hmm, don't think we'll get away with stealing that, will we? Medical brace, crutches, gun case. You got any alcohol? It's got fucking delicious looking st little scotch. Shit, we're still detected. Uh, well, I don't want to make too many enemies. We did already make an enemy of, um... Got away with it. We did already make an enemy of the old woman. We're not here to make an enemy of, uh, you know, everybody. Oh, what the f fuck is going on here, Cliff Briscoe? What the fuck is going on in here? Is this like a crazy golf course? What the... Cliff? <laughs> Cliff? I don't think Cliff's okay. Cheesy poofs. Mm -hmm. Quickness favorite. Detected. Cliff, if you know I'm here, just open your eyes, man. You're freaking me out. Well, I guess that's that then. What a weird guy. What the fuck's he doing in here? Storing dodgy chainsaws, no doubt. Well, we've spoken to pretty much everybody in, in Maine. Uh, Novak. I hope you're finding everything to your Besides liking. Besides, Jeannie May. Can you tell me about Boone's wife? How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Oh, nobody likes her. Okay. Watch out for strangers. Well, thank you, madam. <laughs> Lady who I've never let be met before for being so forthcoming about uh, how much you hate Boone's wife. You just left this place unattended. Uh, it's a good job we're trustworthy. We don't lose karma for stealing from Jeannie May. Well. That okay, guy's a fucking ram raid the place, huh? Seems a bit silly. <laughs> I don't know why you wouldn't lose karma. Oh, we can't take those keys. Oh, that cosmetic. You shit. All right. Do you want a little dinky? Should we take a dinky? I'll take a dinky. Sure. Safe. Oh, we haven't got a lockpick skill. Can we bash open the chainsaw? We cannot. Ah, uh, we cannot. Does not work at all. That's very unfortunate. Well. That's hey a shame. There's a shame we haven't found out anything about Boone's wife. We've spoken to everybody who's worth speaking to. Outside of Novak, you got a lot of little houses, but a lot of the NPCs here are just kind of just kind of minding their own business, really. You know, just doing their own thing. Not really related to the grand scheme of things, so to speak. Well, what what's going on here? Hello? What can I do for you? Ada Strauss! I'm... Need medical supplies. 
Yeah, and I need sterile medical supplies. But let's see what I have with me. She's a doctor. She'll sell us stuff. Uh, she has cat eye. Gives us a low night vision. Doctor bag will take. Fixer removes his addiction. You've got to be joking. Jet, I'll take that. Stim packs, I'll take that. Yes, we can keep your super stim pack. It's not really worth it. Uh, that's good. All right, sold. Actually sold. Is there anything we can give her? Uh, probably not. I'll take it. Thank you, Ada. Another satisfied customer. Bye. Bye. Where do we go from here, then? So we're too low level to really do a lot of the useful things. And now, spoilers, to finish the quest for Boone, we do need a higher lockpicking skill. Uh, so we can't... We can't do that for Boone yet. So Grigan is kind of at a dead end. We can keep going with just the main quest and plow on. Or... What's that? Weapon menu. Oh, that's useful. Um, they didn't want to do that. We could just carry on with and do some other quests that we found along the way. Because I feel like we're blitzing ahead without, you know, kind of uncovering some stuff here. So let's go back and help Deputy Beagle here with his with his sheriff problems. So we can either go and have a chat with uh, the NCR. Or we can break into the correctional facility. Try our new uh, chainsaw. Put that to good use. Hey, oh, shit. Well, that was like a horrible place to put Bregner. Oh, Die! <laughs> it's like a Rammstein video. What the fuck was that? <laughs> That's incredible. Thank you. Uh, Stimpak. Hey, an actual proper real Stimpak. And these guys have uh, NCR dollars on them. Because they were bought and by the NCR, right? So, wow. Hey. All the places you could have spawned, Greg. Now, that wasn't the most ideal. I won't lie, but that's fine, I suppose. Okay, I'll forgive you. Okay, then. Uh, can we cook anything? We've got nothing to cook. So we've got to head over to, uh, let's sleep for a little bit. Wait till daytime, just so, you know, it's actually a little easier to watch this stuff. And let's just try and level up. Try and get a level. Hopefully get a perk or two. Seems like the game bloody owes us. But it didn't actually give us our healing back, though. There you go, that's better. Well, let's plow on, I guess. Chainsaw in hand. Is it better than, uh, is it better than our greatsword? I guess we'll find out. A little experimentation, see how we get on with it. I'm gonna go and break into a prison, butt naked, more or less butt naked, with a chainsaw. To go and find a sheriff for a town. And we're so close to leveling up to it's actually bloody painful. This quest will definitely level us up. I wouldn't be surprised if we leveled up on the way, to be honest with you. Oh, well, or doing that. Yeah, that would do it. Hey. Now, look, we're going to have to put some points in lockpicking. Grigna, canonically, is a thief. So I'm all right with that. We might as well go up to 25. Um, and then if we go survival up to 35, that's something. Uh, one point in melee weapons seems a bit shit, doesn't it? Let's go one point in medicine. More hit points. Okay, and here we go. We've got a perk. Charge. Cowards be damned. Keep your weapon out while sprinting, but don't expect to aim well. It's not really relevant, is it? Um... Less critical hits. Drink black coffee straight from the coffee maker if we have a coffee mug. Confirm batch lets us do 10% damage against male opponents. And we'll get unique options when dealing with the same sex. Now, they, we can pick uh, confirm bachelor. And we can go for lady killer. So, that might be quite a nice damage bonus. Um, I don't know what this does. I don't want to find out. Um, drink to last. Only the people who have almost died from thirst now are precious water, regardless of where it's pumped from. With this perk, you can fill up empty bottles from any toilet. Oh, fuck. Hunter. 75% critical damage against animals and mutated animals. Intense training lets us put another point in special attributes. Jump to conclusions. If you fail to convince someone, all of your hits become critical for the next 10 seconds. That's quite funny. Lady Keller. 15% damage against female opponents. Why is it only 10% with confirmed bachelor, but 15% against women? How bizarre. Cannibal lets us eat people. It's considered a crime against nature. Grigna the cannibal. I could be persuaded. Lab rat. Uh, when using test subject equipment, we gain plus two agility and plus two perception. Okay. Persistent manner. Not really useful. Aiming at an enemy is reloading. Sunny and smiling. Uh, with this perk, your speech skill is increased by 15 from sunrise to sunset. So as long as it's daytime, we get 15. That's quite nice. Toast to victory. Get drunk and fight hard. With this part, your companions will drink alcoholic beverages during combat to gain plus two strength and plus two endurance. My god. Oh, where's my pants? You woke up with bags of money and caps in the middle of nowhere without your pants. Um, I would like to take Toast to Victory. Look, there's Boone. 
Oh, man. I, I think the most useful one out of all of them, to be honest with you, is absolutely like Lady Killer or Confirm Bachelor. Um, I think Bright Side of Life is also very good. I would like to take Lady Killer. We get to pick two. Oh, wait, do we? No, we only get to pick one. Lady Killer. Okay. And the next time we'll take Confirm Bachelor. So that we get that extra damage bonus and a lot of unique options we wouldn't normally get because Grigner is a fucking idiot. Oh! We do get to take two perks. Interesting, because at level five, we're already level five. Nice! I thought we would. Because we have so many perk mods in this mod pack, and because a lot of those perk mods are kind of silly, probably, we get to take two perks per level. Oh, why are you running? Why are you running? Come out of here. No, you're not. No one runs from Gregner. Okay, well, come on. Close the gap. Are we a bad guy? I think we are. Um, Yeah, because we've got like four different perk mods, or at least a perk mod that adds, you know, like four different groups of perks. A lot of them are a bit silly. Like, for example, your companions can drink alcohol. Isn't that impactful? And when we're playing a playthrough that needs as much help as it can get, uh, I think two perks per level is fine. Or, yeah, genuinely, it won't be that unbalanced. For sure. Because a lot of these perks are very silly. Confirm Bachelor and Lady Killer is just going to try and round out our character a little bit because um, he's a bit shit. Sorry to say it, Grigner. You're not that good, fella. And here it is, the prison. We've got to take on all of this by ourselves. We've been spotted straight away. I think going through the front door. Give it a go. But bearing in mind with the two perks, we only get to pick a perk. You don't get to pick some extra skills along with it. And the important part of leveling up is arguably the skills that you take. That unlocks new game mechanics, right? So, can we go through the front gate? Do they all hate us by default just because we could have put on a disguise, but Grigner's not that smart. Let's go honest here. Let me in. Oh, fuck. Well, this is going to be a hell of a battle. Get him, Grigner. Anyone else? NCRF Visitor Center Key. Ah, oh, that seems like a good start. Give me a Psycho. We might have to get Psycho during this. So we might have to take a little Psycho for the 25% damage boost, because there is, uh... Hey, yeah, you. I mean, we're in the meat grinder a little bit here, boys. Look at... Oh. Where'd the other guy go? Well, I think his mate blew him up. Oh! Oh, is that the sheriff we're after? Myers! Maybe you ought to worry about the guys trying to kill you first. They're all dead, Myers. What's wrong? Chill. This is the guy that we're after. Oh, he's panicking still. He's panicking. He's panicking. But they're all dead. Oh, he's, he seems to have calmed down. It's okay. Wow. Good work, Gregner. I mean, they did blow a lot of their own people up, so I feel like we can't take too much credit for that one. Mmm, chicken. Mmm, mmm, chicken. Oh, a star bottle cap got blown up by the bloody powder gangers. It's lucky I was looking for that. God damn it. Uh, why wouldn't he speak to us? What's wrong with him? Uh, Myers? Maybe you ought to worry about the guys trying to kill you first. M Myers? <laughs> That's a hell of a defensive tactic, isn't it? Hiding in a wall. I like it. That's good. What a guy. Alas, poor Yorick. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well. Let's put him there. Well, let's take that. I don't know why there's holes in the ceiling. I will admit. Are you good now? Didn't know anyone would willingly walk into this place. Not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? We're here to uh, recruit you. How'd you end up incarcerated? I was a sheriff, believe it or not for a small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. I helped speed it up one too many times. Oh. I'm not sorry for anything I did, but I will do the time. Fair enough trade if you ask me. Myers, how would you like to be Prem's new sheriff? Assuming an NCR pardon comes with the job, and it had better. I also need to be able to do things my own way. Due process has its place. But sometimes it's just a waste of time. I'll need to know that I'm not going to end up right back in prison. All right. Uh, you have a deal. All you right, sound like Greg. You tell like that type of guy Greg would get along with. Exit. No need for a goodbye party or anything. Well, 
I mean, we found a potential candidate, but he is a, um, a ruthless sheriff who wants to take law into his own hands. So is that the best candidate? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Either way, uh, Grigan has got a prison of criminals to clear out. Right, step up. Get down! Get down! Damn. Who gave him all this dynamite? Very silly. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, we're getting absolutely pounded here. Okay, let's make sure we're picking up the loot. Holy shit, there's so many of them. Nice, good kill. Just grab the loot fast. Nice, good kill, Grigna. Now, the chainsaw might be very powerful, but it's not going to last very long. Oh, neither are we at this rate. Fucking hell. Uh, it's not going to last very long. So we need to be very cautious about making sure that we are, um... We're keeping that guy topped up. Oh, well, I'm wasting loads of stim packs. I'm looking at the wrong fucking number. Like a fool. Come here. You're seeing the big weakness to Grigna's uh, strategy here. <laughs> Alright, not bad. Could have been a lot worse. Well, let's cut out most of the ones on the outside, I think. If not all of them. Let's do a little poking around here. Cell block B. Hey, had enough. We got them all? I think we got them all. Oh, Carter's head crippled. Who was Carter? Oh, shit. It was a named NPC. I mean, he was trying to kill us, so I didn't think I really had a choice there. Cell block key B key. Powder gamma gang is infamy gained. Oh, shit. So that guy was like... He was like a, maybe like a, like a high-ranking powder ganger. Ooh, schematics for powder charges. Hello there. Let's take that medical brace because we could potentially build something useful out of that. Bottle caps. Lots of bottle caps. Very nice. Lots of scrap metal. I'm fairly certain there's something you can do with scrap metal in this game. You can like sell it to someone or, or something like that. I really don't remember very well. What have you got then? It's time for Greg to do a little lock picking. To only 23. We do need like... Two more lockpick, sadly, to uh, get us to the point of it actually being useful, because then we can pick easy locks. Obviously, if we find the right weapon, we can uh, bash them open or weld them open specifically, so to wait a while on that one. I think this is going well, though. I think this chainsaw's been a bit of a game changer for Greg now. As long as we can get in close and fast, it's, it's pretty easy, I think. Well, for now, bear in mind it ignores armor. When we're up against enemies with like like more health, as we level up, enemies obviously get stronger, they get more health. Enemies with more health are definitely gonna be more of an issue. The super mutants, for example. Hey! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Video games are horribly violent. Maybe we should ban them. I just feel like, like impressionable kids might be playing this. They might turn into psychopaths. Or even worse, YouTubers. What's in here? Long fuse dynamite and a coffee mug for that bloody useless perk. That's why I don't mind two perks a level, you know? Just to reiterate, because like one of the perks is, if you have a coffee mug, you can drink from a coffee machine. Which isn't really that handy when you are Grigna the Barbarian. Iguanas on a stick. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, rover encumbered. And I think we're shockingly sober. Much better. <laughs> we can sleep in here if we want. That would be a bad idea. Hello? Well, I don't think there's anything else for us to grab. Well, there's obviously a lot more for us to grab, but like... Can't open that one. Uh, no point opening that one. Mines? Can't open that one either. Oh, shit. There's nothing that we're specifically here to grab. Might be a better way to phrase it. Just here seeing what we can actually find at this point. Uh, was that us? Might have been. We'll take the cigarettes. We sell them for a little bit, right? Are all the guards in the guard towers? Did they come down with their with their friends? We'll just double check. Powder ganger. We've met your match at the hands of Grigna. Yeah, they're not here. Wow. What's that over there? Like some wild dogs or something? Yeah, actually just called large dog. I think there's a friendly large dog though. Are we, is this like a nice thing we're doing? Are we really helping the world out here by chainsawing a bunch of criminals? I'm really sure. They could be in for like fraud. Oh, white collar crimes. Didn't hurt anyone. 
like insurance fraud. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to carve a man in half with a chainsaw for that. Oh, fuck. Oh, let's save quickly because this is going to be way hard. Found you. Oh, yeah. oh great enough. Oh, that, God, this guy's tough. Hey. Shit. Nice. Nice play, Grigner. <laughs> right, let's uh, throw that on the bar. Oh, fuck. Maybe shutting that gate was a poor idea. Grigner, Grigner, Grigner. Come on. Fuck. Oh, my God, there's so many. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Fuck. What a sad end. Could you imagine being one of these fucking powder gangers, minding your own business, then suddenly this massive dude with a chainsaw comes in and starts hacking your people to pieces? I think we're going to go back to the greatsword. Because it actually allows us to react a little Over faster. Here. And the ability to swipe and hit like multiple people in one swing. Fuck me. You like that? No, I don't like that. They killed him. Yeah. Quest failed. I fought the law. That had been a quest for the Powder Gangers. We could have joined the Powder Gangers. We could have helped the Powder Gangers, but we made our decision early on. We made our decision. Well, they made the decision for us when they shot Grigna. Dickheads. I think we've actually completely wiped out the Powder Gangers at this point. I think they're done for. We've killed all their leaders. This was like their main base. We'll obviously check everything now and get all of our well-earned loot. Grigna has bought justice to this wasteland. Not that Grigna cares about that, but he does care about money. And maybe someone will pay him for his efforts. Two doctor's bags, that's massive. Payment in its own right. Good God. Okay, Grigna's picked up a lot of garbage again. That's why he needs a companion, so that we can <laughs> mulch this shit down, basically. Gonna have a look for some loot then, shall we? Well, I should loot their corpses first, because they had, um... They had, uh, like, keys and stuff on them. Look, this is a dead end. You got any alcohol? Is Grigna sober? I don't want Grigna being sober. I don't think he's sober right now. Be nice if there was a way to tell. Oh, I accidentally ate a copy of Salesman Weekly. Now we... Uh, very briefly, it's going to be better at bartering. That's my bad. You can't blame me, though. Grigna's drunk. I mean, that's not on me, is it? Right, well, let's go through them all then. That's mine. Thank you. Uh, that's fantastic. Let's just chuck the ones that we've looted, like, over there. Get out. Go on, piss off. Come oh, on, the strength of Grigna. Throws a man across the room like he's nothing. Look at that piece of paper. Scrambler. Taking that from you, my friend. What have we got in here? It's lots of ammo. Like I said, ammo is free money, so I'm happy with that one. Piss off. Oh, it's the bullet casings for I wonder what that was. Uh, administration key sounds pretty much exactly what we're after here. Road warrior armor. Some Mad Max shit. All right. Well, that's that sorted. We could have picked up way too much shit again, but, you know, mulch it up. We'll be fine. Oh, this has been great. I'm actually really surprised we, uh, I wouldn't say survived it. Took maybe more attempts than I'd like, but any, any, you know, any of this shit is fantastic getting through it, because, uh, oh, let's get rid of that. Again, through any of this shit is fantastic, given that we are a melee man. Oh, you know what? Uh, here, eat that. Eat some squirrels, too. Have a drink. Have a casserole. Uh, do we need a stim pack? Not really. I mean, we should take one just in case there are enemies upstairs, but I mean, tales of chivalry. Drink a vodka or two. I'll keep you going. Excellent. Excellent. Right. What are we looking for then? Can't open that. What was that key that we picked up to do then? Ah, here you go. Oh, loot room. Nice. Grigna the barbarian, my friend. Look at this. So much loot. Holy crap. We're going to have to go back to um, put anywhere and, and mulch it all down. Go back to our good springs or something and finally sell it all off. My god. There are any enemies here. Oh, there you go. Big book on how to speak words good. Again, if only Greg could read. <laughs> Drink a couple more vodkas and a whiskey. That's actually kind of making me feel a little sick just thinking about that. Oh. No. Oh. Okay. What are we got here then? This is the uh ooh. This is the the, the head honcho's office. The The Big Brass's office. Someone just said thief. 
Someone's still alive? Was it you? President Kimball? I mean, President Peaches. Can we open this yet? Shit. I'm missing out on so much loot because Grigner is a shit thief. His backstory is he's a thief and he's a garbage idiot. And there's some stuff if you want to read about that. I'm not going to read that though. Is someone still in here then? Did I miss someone? Who shouted thief? The fucking ghost. Well, I'm going to leave now because I'm scared. <laughs> Brilliant. Wow, what a day for Grigna. Single-handedly has cleared out this prison. Leveled up, uh, not enough, unfortunately, but a good amount. Let's go turn in this quest because that might be enough to level us up. You never know. Uh, we want to go to the Mojave outpost. We're neutral with the NCR, the law keepers. I think the powder gang is rolling. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Nah. The arrow to the knee and all that. That's the arrow to the knee equivalent in this game. Uh, Gregner's alcohol has worn off, so let's just... Um, there you go. Nice breakfast for Gregner. We got another minor achievement there. For taking a lot of chems. Getting some XP for it. <laughs> Which is something maybe to be ashamed of. Right, here we go. Major Knight. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or... Grigna. Just need something for the logbook. Keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Although mostly just in. Not out these days. People are getting murdered? If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate. So if you speak with him, keep it short. Thank you. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts. Mm-hmm. Grigna from May to have his... Ah. Oh. Confirm bachelor. You didn't tell Grigna your name. Oh, uh, nice. You must not be from around here. If so, doesn't do to get too friendly. Ah, uh, something wrong with Grigna asking your name. This Sweet isn't cheeks. the Republic. <laughs> Oddly enough, Legion's a little more forgiving about friendships. Out here, it's not as accepted. Not that I mind being friends. It's just being open about it in the outpost. Well. I have to work here. Mm-hmm. 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 Ah, uh, is that a no? You don't want to be friends with Grigna. I would. Perhaps some other time. When my orders take me to Vegas, perhaps. I wish things were different, but might take some time. If you need something repaired, let me know. I You've already told us that, Major Knight. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, Grigna tried his hand at flirting. Turns out it's illegal in the NCR. Hey. Isn't that some shit? Well, who are we speaking to? Why am I here? Oh, it's Major Knight we need to speak to. Oh, fuck. Hello. Back oh, again, this is awkward. Oh, Knight, need. my friend. Uh, I, Grigna needs to talk to you about Prim. Prim? These units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF <laughs> Not anymore, you don't. What can I help you with? Uh, one of the convicts from the NCRCF is looking for a pardon so we can protect Prim. One of the powder gangers? They've been nothing but trouble for us. Why would we want one of them anywhere in an official capacity? Um, shit. Come on, he's just a convict. How bad could he be? Do you think I could buy a pardon? Quicken is not going to separate with his hard-earned money. I don't think so. I'm not going to put my word on the line for some random convict. Mm, goodbye, Major Knight. Goodbye. Hmm. Look what you're missing out on, Major Knight. Walk away slowly, Greg. No, damn it. Hello. Oh, hello there. Well, we tried. We tried and we failed. Uh, well, we'll have to find a different... A different guy, because Grigna is too stupid. We go to Prim. Uh, I think we should go to Prim and maybe have a chat with... We could just put the NCR in charge, I suppose. We could go to all that effort to free that dude who's now not allowed to be uh, put in charge. Is this him? It is. Have you gotten my pardon from the NCR? I'm sorry. I can't. Okay. Hurry back. I don't want anyone to start shooting at me. Maybe take off the fucking jacket first, you dickhead. Walking around with his powder ganger jacket. What a moron. Well, I guess we'll put the NCR in charge. <laughs> Grigna, you are an idiot. <laughs> you get all the... We <laughs> get all the effort to free this dude from prison. We chainsaw our way through a dozen powder gangers. Two dozen powder gangers. Then we put the NCR in charge. They immediately shoot the guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Grigna's a fool. 
Lieutenant Hayes. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? Grigna. Uh, Prim is in need of real law. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. They're dead. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. The powder gangers are dead. What we need more than anything is bodies. Dude, there's lots of them if in the prison. we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then oh, you'll have to get God. some more troops out. Nothing simple in this one. Night at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Ah, oh, I'm aware of night. You turn Greg it down. <gasps> Goodbye. Sir. No, oh, we caught a sir. That was nice. Well, we are fucked if we do and fucked if we don't. Uh, we can't do anything. <laughs> Hayes and the NCR will protect Prim if they get additional mercenary uh, or a military personnel. Myers needs a pardon. And Beagle wants a new sheriff for Prim. Ah, oh, god damn it, Grigner! If only you weren't so fucking thick in the head. Not anywhere else, of course. Never mind. Tomorrow, Grigner will return, uh, and tomorrow, Grigner will return in more real time because it will be uh, not pre-recorded. So I can check all of your comments, your feedback, your criticisms of Grigner. Grigner will read his fan mail. I will read it to Grigner, and Grigner will smile or cry, and probably both. That's what you've been saying about him, what mean, horrible things you've been saying, and eventually, Grigner might make some progress with his journey. But for the time being, Grigner's gonna go and maybe lie down in Prim. See so if we can find somewhere to sleep. 